I know you guys have been waiting for the supercharger install on the Trail Wrecker, and this week we're heading over to Epic Adventure Outfitters to get started on that. Dyno testing shows getting about 380 horsepower at the rear wheels. Of course, once the supercharger's in, we are going to go and test it out. And of course, we're gonna head into the mountains and do some real world testing in the snow with our friends. Up your truck. <laughs> Just please don't. Broke something. This is the story till now. Man on a mission, I'm a kid, and you know why be on a Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. White Rock Dodge. Rip Superchargers. Modular racks. And in part by. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good weekend. We're over at Epic Adventure Outfitters today to get started on a project that has been in the works for a while. As you know, Rip Superchargers has been sponsoring the channel since, uh, I don't know, last summer. And of course, we are going to put a Rip Supercharger in the trail wrecker make it a super trail wrecker so that is going to start today ripmods.com if you want to check out the stuff that we're putting in here right now landon's cleaning out the engine bay we're just getting all tidied up so that uh, it's not a mess when we're working in there what kind of gains are we looking at here oh fuel mileage like you wouldn't believe people stop you at the light and rev their engine next to you people try and race you all the time but they're always in your rearview mirror so there's a will there's a way man We can get the supercharger in and add uh, all these fancy parts that Rip has put together for us. We got to take the engine apart a little bit, so that's what's happening right now. A lot of it. A lot of bit. A lot of a lot of it. A lot of bit. A lot of bit. A lot of bits. So Rip sent us a custom candy red intercooler, as well as some of the uh, the tubing, all custom powder coated, which is really nice. This is gonna go right on, uh, right behind the grill on the front, so it'll stand out and look super cool. So just to get a feel of what we're gonna put in, we've got some nice candy red coated parts. We have the XL intercooler that's gonna be just behind the grill. Obviously we know what this is. This is the blow off valve. Makes a lot of cool noises while you're driving. Scares children when you drive by. In here, we've got the updated fuel injectors that allow to dump more of that really economical 91 octane into the cylinders so that the upgraded coil packs can light them on fire. We then have this beautiful billet machined housing that changes out your thermostat housing so that we can fit the supercharger. Sean opted for the cold air intake, so it's got some nice carbon fiber that literally adds five horse. We should be able to actually make this made up with the OEM snorkel if we're lucky. Got lots of hoses for coolant. Two belts, because you always should carry a spare if it's not something you can just swing by the hardware store and pick up. Uh, we're gonna put two catch cans on this system, one on each side of the motor, just like mine. And then we've got the giant Vortex Supercharger, set up specifically for Rip's kit, pretty much. And, well, you can't forget the super cool badge. Yes. Which you could buy yourself and stick on the back of a vehicle without it, so you may look cooler. Add slightly less horsepower for you that way. Dyno testing shows getting about 380 horsepower at the rear wheels. What's the, what's the stock horsepower? 205 to 215 at the wheels. So, so 100, and, 100 and something horses. Oh, we're getting some extra ponies. We put Rips uh, high performance coil packs in. That would be the nice orange colored things. And uh, we're about to head on to putting on the intake and getting to putting the good part, fun parts on. You there? You were. That was a lot less dramatic. You'll have to put some dramatic music on for that. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, cue dramatic music right now. So. All right. After much preparation and uh, getting everything sort of put into the engine bay where it needs to go, it's time for the supercharger to go in. Magic. magic. It's gonna go in like magic. Yeah, 
That's Lindsay. She likes to come into any video you're filming. Hey, Lindsay. Hi. She also brings us coffee, donuts sometimes. So, what's this piece? That is the blow off valve. This is to help protect your motor from too much power. You know how it's going to sit? It's going to go on this. I think I'm gonna put the cold air intake air filter on. Looks super cool. We've got the sealed cold air intake filter here. And what we're doing that's kind of unique with this supercharger install is we're gonna adapt it to connect to the OEM snorkel. And then this whole setup should keep water out of the system. That's might be a straight to... shot. Almost, yeah, just a little bit perfect. So we've just wrapped up the install of the RIP supercharger. As always, if you need any work done or anything installed on your late model Jeep JL, Gladiator, or the occasional Ram, come see my friends here at Epic Adventure Outfitters. The Ginger would love to, uh, to work with you. Look at the way he strokes his beard, menacing. Anyway, I think there's uh, one thing that we haven't done yet, and that's we gotta start it up and make sure it actually runs and makes cool sounds and stuff. It's alive! Sounds right. All right, so it runs. Uh, we're gonna take it out for a test drive, obviously, and then uh, I think we'll have to take it out on a trail and uh, see how it performs. Please do not blow up your truck. <laughs> just please don't. <laughs> just, you're working with a lot of boost, just please don't. Basically, we're gonna do about 10 PSI is what we're working with for boost. Uh, so that's kind of the top end. One of the reasons you choose a rip supercharger as opposed to something else with more because you just want to be very careful with these engines and the amount of boost you have in them because you don't want to blow anything and cause seals to blow up or anything else like that but yeah you should have a lot of fun just uh again be careful with it she's an old girl <laughs> did you just tell me to be careful fairly similar to telling me to be safe i don't know that's a stupid thing I well it's break breaking time breaking time what's that break it time yes it yes the time where we test to see if you can break it all right we're gonna find ourselves a nice straight stretch of road or we can do some tests for science. Here we go. We'll get right back to the supercharger testing, but first, how about a chance to win a 4.3 million Lake Tahoe dream house from our friends at Omaze. Omaze gives away one-of-a-kind prizes and experiences while donating money to chosen charities all across the world. Their sustainable approach to fundraising means that nonprofits can spend less time and money raising funds and instead focus on serving the needs of their community. Guys, this house has four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and epic lake and mountain views. What more could you want? Well, there's more. We're talking home theater, game room, a rooftop deck with in-floor heating, a fire pit, and an outdoor kitchen where you know I'd whip up some bacon at any hour of the day. Plus, this 5,200 square foot dream house is built with reclaimed materials from all over the world. Now, if you like to entertain like I do, this could be your ultimate relaxation retreat. Your lakeside cabin, your ski lodge, and fully equipped culinary castle. Now, if somehow all that doesn't tickle your fancy, you can choose to take $3 million in cash instead of the house. Most excitingly, funds raised will support After School All-Stars and their mission to help kids succeed in school and in life. So for your chance to win the Lake Tahoe Dream House and support a really good cause, go to omaze.com slash the story till now. All right, I just met up with Braun and Chad and we're gonna try and get up the mountain into the hot springs. There's apparently lots of washouts, landslides on the road that we'll have to keep an eye out for, probably some deep snow. It should be a good day. See what this, uh, 
super trail record can do in the snow. Should be fun. It's gonna be fun, eh? I clean my air filter now, I'm supercharged. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the line looks good. somebody's left their truck stuck in the middle of the trail. He's in it too. No way. Should we winch it up, park it over there? Maybe. Okay. They left the keys in it. We can winch it out of the way and park, park it here. It right here. I think we're gonna move the abandoned vehicle out of the way. They left the keys in it, so we'll just drive it down here and park it somewhere where they can pick it up. That doesn't move. All right, here we go. Stuck abandoned vehicle is unstuck and out of the way. You're welcome, whoever's vehicle that is. We're gonna continue on. Super trail wrecker. Woo! I broke something. The bolt that holds the drop bracket in is gone, and the drive shaft popped out. So. Put this in there. Uh, Will that be long enough? No, uh, is there a long extension in there? No, I got a, a wrench. How about a half inch drive? Yeah. Right now we're pulling off the end of the drive shaft from the diff so that we can reconnect the drive shaft. And then we're gonna use a, a pin that we found to try and put it through the drop racket hole. Get that back together. Donation of to the Toyota. <laughs> yeah, donation from the, the Black Cherry. So hopefully we'll be mobile again here shortly. Loosen it up. From I your am. end. From your winch. Fine, it'll be fine after today. And what about the snapper? It went on there good? Yeah, yeah snapper going in. Thanks for We took a pin from bronze, whatever that thing is, fair lead. <laughs> bronze having an enamel bar, so we're all good. Oh, I think you're good. It's good. It looks totally good. Is it the four-wheel drive right now? It's good, I think you're gonna be good. All right, seems good, so we're gonna push forward and hopefully it's all right. We'll try and take her easy. Don't want to uh, 
put too much pressure on that pin. So keep going. tell no one's been down here for a while snow is still deep no tracks and a lot of fallen trees from all the recent storms so I'm just clearing our way All right, we're trying to get down this hill. The snow is definitely deeper than the 37 inch tires on bronze rigs. So we're doing a lot of winching. We're probably gonna have to swing it around and get out of here. It's getting dark and the snow is nasty. Keep it going. You might want to unlock your front locker. Alright, now 
Now, now I'll back up a little bit more, I guess, and then you just pull in front of me. All right. The goal now is simply to get back out the way we came. There was a little bit more time in the day. Maybe we would have uh, tried to push a bit further, but that was some pretty deep snow. We'll do some more testing with the supercharger next time. We're actually heading out on a pretty big road trip here. So there's gonna be some big time testing. But shout out again to RIP Superchargers for uh, the awesome kit, loving it so far. See you guys next week. Oh, 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 oh.